I'm Albi Benitez. And I'm Valerie Concepcion. And this is Game Changer. In this episode of Game Changer, Fighting Nature's Wrath with Anti-Flood Architecture. The Toad Amphibious Rescue Jeep. And the Seagull Tsunami Warning System. are back and this means only one thing, floodings. But while some people are resigned to the fact, some are doing something about it. With the help of technology, they are designing and building flood-resilient homes. How about a garage that works? Or a balcony that can be used as a lifeboat? In the Philippines, storms and floods have become the new normal. But sometimes, even Mother Nature outdoes herself. Oh, ito ang tubig sa amin. Ito, mapapasin nyo, ang guhit na yan, ayan. Talagang lapas tao ang nangyari. Boy Aguilar never thought that what he worked hard for decades could be completely destroyed in minutes. The watermark is still there, and you could still feel Boy's trauma as he recounts Typhoon Ondoy's onslaught. A matter of five to... 10 minutes, unti-unti nang tumataas ang tubig hanggang sa pagdating sa dibdib namin, binuot lang kami ng aming anak patungo sa kapitbahay. Everything was destroyed. All that remained was thick mud. Boy knew they had to rebuild, but with it, a firm resolve that the nightmare should never happen again. This sentiment resounds in the hardest-hit residents of Marikina and is the inspiration of John Aguilar in creating Project Smart Home. Project Smart Home is a smarter way of building houses. For people who do not have a choice, who live in Marikina or who have land in Marikina, this project really enables you to change the way you think about building houses in the Philippines and in low-lying areas uh, in general. Indeed, to counter extreme weather, you have to make extreme design makeovers. The first floor, for example, is empty, except for the car and garage. Bedrooms are on the second floor, while the living room and kitchen are on the topmost floor. This is to ensure that the food supply and appliances are safe. John also added another ingenious idea, a floatable carport and escape balcony. We built a floatable carport that will actually allow your car to float in the event of a flood. So imagine a raft under your car. People were stuck uh, during the floods. No? They couldn't escape. They couldn't go to higher ground. So instead of having a boat or uh, you know, a canoe in, in your house, what we came up with is a floatable balcony. So this balcony has a gate that if you open it, you can actually push the balcony out and it will serve as your emergency raft. Under the car in the garage and in the balcony are interlocked cubes of durable and non-toxic pontoons. The pontoons are made from high-density polyethylene. Each cube is an inch thick and a half meter high. A cube has a buoyancy of 200 pounds or over 90 kilos. 45 cubes joined together can support 9 tons, more than enough for an SUV. Meanwhile, the balcony is made of eight pontoons with each able to carry one person. Actually, the system kasi, it has interlocking to keep the pontoon firm. Because without the interlocking, if there's current, parang the cubes would just rub each other, so it's unstable. If with the interlocking system, it gives a firm base. As the water rises, the carport and balcony also rise along with it. Once the water came in, this um, carport it will float with the guide rails on the side. So if there's a current, the guide rail will guide the carport 
to float up. It won't wash out. In fact, they have conducted dry runs in the Marikina and Pasig rivers. Dr. Ted Esguera was one of the first responders in Marikina during Typhoon Ondoy. Itong Ondoy ay na-underestimate din natin, lalo na sa aming mga rescue teams, kasi hindi pa namin, wala pa kaming tinatawag na saktong hazard mapping that time. So hindi namin nakita yung napakaraming buhos ng ulan. He saw firsthand Ondoy's widespread devastation. Dr. Ted stresses the value of investing in the welfare of your loved ones and hard-earned properties. Being smart is to be ahead of some ugly things. That's the smart thing. Sabi ko si let's get let's stop being reactive. Even renowned architect and urban planner Felino June Palafox sees adaptation as the way to go. I have been putting forward the past 42 years for the Philippines uh, how to address hazards before they become disasters through architecture, urban planning, engineering. His proposal? To build houses and cities on stilts, connect infrastructure through elevated walkways, or adopt floating houses like those used in some parts of the country. Even the interior design and engineering, like the electrical wirings of the house, should be properly adjusted. But as he emphasized, for genuine effective change to take place, Strong political will, visionary leadership, good planning like urban planning, good design like architecture engineering, and good governance. For John, the ultimate goal of Project Smart Home is to give the residents a different way of looking at house design with modern considerations like climate change in mind. In fact, the design is unpatented and anyone can copy its principles. But perhaps more importantly, the project hopes to encourage adaptation. If people are able to adapt that into their own designs, then it will enable them to be able to survive a huge catastrophe such as a major flood. And if we help in that way, then I guess we've changed the game. Adapt. If we cannot relocate from low-lying areas, we need to redesign and build smartly. And in this aspect, technology can really be a game changer. Up next, the toad and the cigar, when Game Changer returns. This portion was brought to you by Las Casas Filipinas de Acuzar. Midas Hotel and Casino, a contemporary, design-led lifestyle hotel in the majestic hub of Manila with fabulous views of sunset on the bay. Midas offers designer amenities and guest rooms and suites, supreme restaurant options for sumptuous enjoyment, event studios for corporate meetings and vows, and a casino with world-class gaming. Here at Midas, we make days into moments. Sparkling creativity, it's stylemanship by Midas. So who or what is a game changer? Game changers are things, ideas, or they are people who put forth pioneering concepts that change the way things are made, the way we do things, or even the way we think. We'll discover the most enterprising people, seek and encourage potential trailblazers, and take a peek into the minds of Game Changers.